fish. Feels like it. Not bad. <laughs> hey! Yes, boy. Yes! First fish. That's not a bad fish. Lovely fish. So we got this on a savage pop frog. You guys have probably seen it on one of my early videos, the one I did at Boss Corp. This thing is stuck in here. And as you can see, the pop frog fits perfectly. <laughs> yes, boy. We didn't blank. In this episode, I am in Cape Town and I joined that bass guy, Adam Gowes. He is an accomplished bassing Facebook and YouTuber and was kind enough to host me at one of his secret locations. Our mission for the morning was to catch a bass or two on top water, then fish deeper in the water column in the afternoon. The morning was pretty quiet and Adam and I tried to work out why these bass were not biting on the top. We then tried to strategize to work out the most effective method to catch these stubborn largemouth bass. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that was a fish. You got a fish? Yeah. You got a sperm? A little baby one. What's up, guy? I call them spooms. Yeah, well, it's not much bigger. <laughs> Trick baits, check this out. It's like the same size. <laughs> they don't care, these little uh, things. Oh, yes! Yes, boy! But still, look how fat he is. Look at that. A good fish, yes. That thing's really, <laughs> that's what probably why they're biting so slow today, yeah, because they're so flipping full. Look at that, he's so full, fat from something. Uh, booyah black frog, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's a booyah frog, very cool. Just a simple black and yellow pattern, and uh, yeah, he munched it, cleared the water straight out the water, and took it. Boom, yeah, we're gonna get him back quickly. This will catch me a little bluegill or a bass. That, but that one you've got on now is pretty good. Yeah, that one's fine. I mean, <clears throat> I've got my biggest one I've caught, I've got a normal size. Yes, fish. Yeah. Looks like a decent one, eh? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> Yes. See how big he is. So there you go. Nice size bass. What's this? Just under a kilo, hey? Yeah, eight, nine hundred grams, I would say. Lovely. Very cool. Let's get her back. Things that I've used before. Yep. Fish. Fish. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. Massive! That's so cool. <laughs> yes! Fishy poo. Nice. Goodbye, little fishy poo. Go call your brother. Fish? Yeah. Yes! Oh, that's a really nice fish. Stay out of the trees. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> I think I was recording. <laughs> On this tree, eh? On a secret tree in a secret location.
In the oh, you man. see that thing swallowed you. Gone. Gone gone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is very important if you get fish hooked in the gut like this. You can see what I'm doing. Putting my pliers in through the gills, just be very careful. So we, all we gotta do is turn it in the right face in the right direction. And then we can reach in and pull it out. There we go, hook out, fish is still alive. Let's get him back in. It's better than leaving the hook in it. <clears throat> Much better than leaving the hook in. If you can get it out without damaging him, then you sort it. Bye.